Okay, so let's continue with part 2 on my little video about the GeForce GTA 590, the new card from NVIDIA. And the interesting thing about it is that it's targeted at AMD's latest Radeon HD 6990 that also got a dual GPU. So yeah, this card is GTX 590 got a dual GPU, and it was a long time ago since we saw a new card from NVIDIA that packed this dual GPU. Actually, the last one we saw it was like in 2009 when they released their dual GPU GTX 295, and I mean it was a long time ago. We didn't see a G dual GPU GTX on the GTX 400 series. Yeah, we didn't, but finally they have unveiled this new GTX 590 card, so as I said, it's being targeted at AMD Radeon AC6990 and going to have the same price available, it's going to cost 699 bucks. so it's good that they're pricing it uh, at the same like money. Also, if you are wondering how long this card is, it's 11 inch long, and it's kind of funny because that makes it just shorter than the new Radeon HD 6990 because that card is 12.2 inch long and I think it's funny because Nvidia they usually make like massive cards and now they're being like smaller they are very small that's what she said so this Nvidia GeForce GTX 590 obviously as I said it packs two GF 110 GPUs as you can find on the single GPU GeForce GTX 580 it comes with eight graphic processing clusters 32 streaming multiprocessors and 1024 CUDA cores, also 96 raster operations and 128 texture addressing units. So, obviously, this is basically just doubling the specs that you can find on the GTX 580 because, I mean, as we can see here, 10,024 CUDA cores. Basically, that means that the uh, GTX 580 GPU, the GF110, it has 512 the course obviously it's a dual card as I said but obviously there are some things that Nvidia made to keep the price down I mean still you, you can get a lot better graphics uh, if you would buy two GTX 580 but that would be more expensive than just buying a single card GTX 590 so what Nvidia have done with this GTX 590 is that they have reduced the clock speed so it's around 607 megahertz on the GTX 590 and that is basically 21% lower than what you can find on the GeForce GTX 580 there you can find the clock speed 772 megahertz so yeah obviously or you know also on this GeForce GTX 590 card is that you get GDDR5 memory 3 gigabytes and that is sweet. I mean, 3 GB you can find 4 GB on Radeon 6990, but still, you know, 3 GB it's it's a lot. Also, if you're wondering how much power this car takes, the GTX 590, it takes 365 watts. That's the thermal design power. So, uh, Nvidia recommends that you, or that is what the car could consume. And that's obviously 50 times more um, or higher than the, what you get on the GTX 580's thermal design power. Also, it's a little lower than what Nvidia slapped on their new Radeon 6990. They said 375 in the thermal design power. So, yeah. Also, you can see the big like fan here. If you like those, then you know you should really like go for it. Also, NVIDIA have said, obviously, yes, this card could take 365 watts, but still, NVIDIA is saying that you should at least, like, have a 700 watt power supply if you're going to go for the GTX 590, because it would still be kind of crazy if you wouldn't. Also, it is a pair of 8-pin connectors that this GTX 590 card is going to use. So also down here we could see some of the connections that we get on this GTX 590. As you can see we get three dual link DVI outputs. Also you can see down here we get a small little mini display port connection. So basically you could have three displays with a maximum resolution of 7680 7, times 1600. 
so that is sweet so I really like this card and I really like their pricing it at the same price as you know you would be able to get a radiant HD 6994 so that is cool